now. See if we can get through this. <laughs> okay. Yesterday we asked for help <laughs> on naming the new beer channel. And we picked our top three favorites and we're gonna <laughs> name those now. And then at the end of this video, we are going to pick our favorite. That's right. He's discussed them with Dave already, so. Okay. Our top three favorites is From the Abyss, The Neighborhood Brewery, From Crimson Ferry, Brewing Buddies, Adventures in Beer, and from Angie on YouTube, Brew Bastards. So those are our top three favorites. And we will let you know which one we chose, or they chose, at the end of this video. Okay, so oh. let's get started. <laughs> He's making me laugh, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to try my hardest to get through this, okay? I have no idea why she has the giggles. <laughs> He's being a brat, that's why. Okay, so we got some new people to welcome to the community, some people to give shout outs to, some thoughts and prayers, and some updates. So, let's get started. Kaylee Shields, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. We met these next five people at Not Scary Farm. Yay! We were recognized by these wonderful, wonderful people. Excuse me if I get your names incorrect. I'm going to try my hardest. Antonina, welcome to the neighborhood and shout out to you from recognizing us at Not Scary Farm, girl. Viri Gonzalez, welcome to the neighborhood. Best things in life are the littlest, remember that. And thank you for recognizing us at Not Scary Farm. And this last one, we couldn't quite make out the name. We're not sure if it's Dante or Shante, but Dante. welcome to the neighborhood. Shout out to you from, well, from noticing us at Not Scary Farm as well. Guy in the trick-or-treat maze, we don't know your name, but thank you for saying how much you liked our YouTube channel. And shout out to you for recognizing us. Okay, and Trigger Riot, also known as Natalie, welcome to the neighborhood. And shout out to you for recognizing us at Not Scary Farm as well. Thank you all, and if anybody out there recognizes us at all, please feel free to come on up and meet with us, talk to us, get in one of our vlogs saying hi to us. We would love it. It's good for our ego. Yeah. I broke my ego. Yeah. Becky Blue Vlogs just started her own channel. Welcome to the neighborhood, and go by and check out her channel, guys. <laughs> Maple Poon, welcome to the neighborhood. He's got a channel. I haven't had a chance to go by and check it out yet, but you guys can always go by and do so. Girls Dream, welcome to the neighborhood. She has a channel. She has one video up. I did watch it. Go by and check her out. Give her some support. Okay, so that is all the new welcomes. Let's get some updates in on Terry Johnson's Uncle Stan. He had a blood transfusion and walked a little bit. Then they found a blood clot in his arm. They had been flushing his blood. They were on top of that girl. They found it that quickly and flushed his blood. Thumbs up to them. Her parents saw him last Saturday and said he looked good. And despite everything, he is up and walking and staying strong. So you go, Uncle Stan. Okay. Ashley Smith. 
Her stepdad just had lung surgery, so if we can all keep him in our thoughts and prayers. The surgery went well, this is an update already, and he went home on Tuesday, but please keep those prayers coming. So Ashley, prayer, thoughts and prayers for your stepdad from Kevin and I, and the entire neighborhood community, if you can please keep Ashley Smith's stepdad in your thoughts and prayers as well. I'm sure that would greatly be appreciated. Belinda Alberry, update on her. She had surgery on her foot for flat feet. And even though um, her surgery was a success, she got her stitches out and she's in a boot. And even though her foot is swollen, she can already see that she has an arch. Yay. Very exciting, very successful surgery. Belinda, make sure you do everything you're supposed to do and stay off your feet because you don't want scar tissue. Trust me, it hurts. Okay, um, thoughts and prayers. One Proud Mama 77 is going in for surgery on Friday to make sure that there's no new masses and nothing new has developed and nothing new is going on. So everybody please keep One Proud Mama in your thoughts and prayers. Um, while she goes through her surgery. Um, Teresa Hyde got her approval for her gastric sleeve or gastric bypass. I'm not sure which one she's going to have. So if everyone please keep her in your thoughts and prayers and welcome her to the loser bench everybody because she's going to be joining us there soon. And again everybody if you can possibly for my family my cousin Stevie lost his wife earlier last week. Um, if you can all possibly keep him and his entire family in your thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that as well. So, And that's all we have for that. My question last week was, would you rather stay in a cemetery overnight or a run-down, dilapidated <clears throat> old house. Now, there was a little bit of a misconception. Um, we never said the cemetery was well-maintained. And um, Crimson Ferry was one of the answers I was going to read. She chose the cemetery because... The cemetery is usually well-maintained and less vermin. However, I assumed that the cemetery is not well-maintained. It is a run-down, dilapidated old cemetery, the same as the house. So, Crimson Ferry, um, I don't know if you want to change your answer. But she said she wanted to stay in the cemetery because it was well maintained and there would be less vermin. So, Destiny Swan chose the cemetery because she wanted to lay next to her mother and her grandmother. And she didn't think she could handle the spooky house. Um, Angie on YouTube chose the house because she would be close to access to a bathroom. But, we never said there would be running water or working plumbing. But she said, doesn't matter, she's only there for one night. She wouldn't have to clean up the mess. Good reasoning. Dougie Style has a very interesting answer. He would chose the house. Some protection from the elements. But loving either for being alone because you wouldn't have to listen to anybody snore. Who exactly are you talking about? And how do you know there's no snoring inside those graves? Hmm? Yeah. Which would you choose? House. Why? I don't want to camp outside. That's for you. you go I have spent the night in a cemetery. That's nice, dear. Very proud to say. And I enjoyed it. Well, good for you. 
I had lots of company. Well, good. Even though I was alone. That's right. They were all stuffed in your head. That's right. <laughs> but I would do either because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> so tonight's question, still leaning toward the spookiness of Halloween, would you rather stay in a haunted house, a real live haunted house, or in a creepy old castle? Live, not stay. Live there? Live there. Oh, okay. Would you rather live <clears throat> in a real <clears throat> live haunted house or live in a creepy old castle? <clears throat> okay. By yourself. Well, you keep changing it. You're living there by yourself? Okay, with your family. There you go. With your family. Just your immediate family. <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. Last week's question had to do with um, Maximum Overdrive, which was a movie written and directed by Stephen King in 1986. Uh, I actually liked the movie, I don't know if you remember it or not. It's, it, it was a good movie. It was not a bad movie, although uh, it, had, it was plagued with lots of problems, lawsuits, injuries, and just weird stuff. Um, and um, Stephen King thought it was a horrible experience. But uh, one of the main reasons why, and that a lot of people didn't touch on this because it's from a, uh, a recent interview, he was um, he was pretty much uh, high on cocaine through the entire time. He doesn't remember much about the whole thing. He doesn't remember. It, he says the whole thing is just a blur. And uh, good for him that most of the people who worked on you know, the movie were all professionals and they just did got the job done. Um, he also called it a moron movie, and the people would ask him, why don't you direct another movie? He would just say, well, watch Maximum Overdrive, and there's your answer. But recently he said he would love to direct another movie, sober this time. And those who got that correct were Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, Tanya Longley, and Destiny Swan. Woohoo! Okay, today's question is about a 1987 um, alien horror film called Bad Taste. It was one of Peter Jackson's first movies. You know Peter Jackson is? Yes. Alright. Bad Taste. He, he filmed most of it himself on a 16mm camera. It took him four years to film it because he had to do it on the weekend. Um, and the question is, why were all the aliens' heads swooped back? Question. There's your question, everybody. Okay. Would you like to reveal your choice of your brew? Talking beer? with uh, Dave, we decided because we're guys, we're going to go for brew bastards. Yeah. So, Angie on YouTube, thank you for naming the Beer Brewing Channel. So, everybody, look forward to that channel. It should be coming your way. Soon. So there you have it, everybody. There is your trivia question of the week, your regular question of the week, your new channel coming at you shortly, and we hope to... Wait, I forget how I end these. <laughs> Thumbs up, everybody. We love you all very very much we make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff we wouldn't be not we would not be here if it weren't for all of you guys out there we love you all very, very much <laughs> uh, over there, i'm getting there now right. i'm getting there now okay ready 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 take three <laughs>
<laughs> we would not be here if it weren't for all of you guys out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you next week. Bye! I never do this. Bye! <laughs>